either you're with us, either you love freedom and with nations which embrace freedom, or you're with the enemy. This is the story of a misrepresented people. Holy shit, man. The other That's terrorists! Other building? That's terrorists, bro! Arab men have long been portrayed as violent, uncivilized, and unpredictable by the American mainstream media, kind of as a greater reflection of a bigger political agenda. If you don't believe me, that's totally fine. Let's take a look at my boy Saeed Jarrah, one of the characters in the hit TV series you all may know as Lost. My name is Saeed Jarrah. And I am a torturer. So right off the bat, Said is introduced as an Iraqi native. And try not to be shocked, folks, a former torturer for the Iraqi Republican Guard. Are you kidding me? We do not have bamboo in Iraq. Although we do have something similar, reeds. But their effect is the same when the shoots are inserted underneath the fingernails. Throughout the show's six seasons, Said is portrayed as this unstable killing machine that violently interrogates and obviously assassinates anybody who stands in his way. The best part? Said is played by a British actor of Indian descent named Naveen Andrews. And the worst part? Andrews can't even hide his British accent underneath his horribly fake Arab one. You were right about me. What? I am a killer. Another example of the misrepresentation of Arab men hits a lot closer to the 8 to 10 year age group, Aladdin. Before Disney was pressured to change the opening song lyrics, this is what they were. Oh, I come from a land, from a faraway place, where the caravan camels roam. Where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face. It's barbaric, but hey, it's home. Where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face? Really? So this next scene from Disney doesn't really help their case either. Thief! Oh, please, if you let me go to the palace, I can get oh. some from the Sultan. Do you know what the penalty is for stealing? No! So there you have it, folks. Two rock-solid examples of Hollywood and Disney's stereotypical indiscretions. Still, I thought that maybe they might have a point. So I decided to look into it further myself, and this is what I found. Take a look. What's your name? Sohaib Al Jawhiri. What's your name? Mohsen Al Kizini. And where are you from, Sohaib? I'm from Jordan. Where's that? It's in the Middle East. Oh, okay. So that's like where Al Qaeda's from, right? No. Right. So Jordan, the Middle East. Same yeah. thing. They're Al Qaeda. From, they're from Afghanistan. Okay. Oh, okay. And uh, where are you from? I'm from Kuwait. Okay, so you're like Osama bin Laden's brother, right? Oh, okay, no, he's my dad. So, um, how many bombs have you made in your life? Have you ever, like, plotted the death of America or something like that? I don't think so, no. Okay, so you didn't make bombs with Osama bin Laden in a cave? No, I went to school. How does it feel to be an Arab in contemporary society? What? Are you, you're Arab, right? No, I'm Persian. I like Oh, you're Persian? Yeah. Isn't that the same thing, basically? Would you ever have a wife, like, to begin with in general? Or would she just kind of, like, be your slave? No, I want to love my wife, and I want my wife to love me. Okay, um, okay. I guess that's, I guess that's acceptable. So there it is. Proof that it's all a myth. So if I could have you guys take one thing from this entire video, it would be this. The next time you see a bearded man walking down the street, don't duck for cover, don't feel the need to call for help, don't be scared. Jam the stereotype instead. <laughs> Hey!